This video is to introduce you to numbered lists. I'm going to put some text in um, to start our list. And to make to begin our, our, our multi-level list, we, we click on this icon here. And I'm just going to select the default current list, which you know, gives me the one and makes this a top level item. When I press return, it leaves me in the list and gives me the option to enter another top level item. Now, if I want to um, make this a sub-item, then I choose this increased ident um, icon. And you'll see it's changed down to the letter A. And I can now put in some text for my sub-level. And let's say I want to put another one in. That's two, two, two paragraphs. Now, when I want to go back to the top level, I use the um, decrease ident. So let's move it out there. Um, and I can put some more. I'll put another top level item in there. Just so we've got some text to play with. And I will put in another couple of, let's see, of um, sub items. Let's make it three gone. Now, if I'm um, saying here I decide I need another sub paragraph here, it's very easy just to press return at the end of the paragraph. It immediately um, renumbers um, and gives me the, so I can very quickly type in another paragraph and it maintains the logic of the numbering system. Again, I can click anywhere in this list and I can then, you know, use the increase ident to give me a third level in the list. I'll just type some text for the third level. I'll just put a couple of third level items in. So there we are. We've now created very easily a numbered list with three levels, which will look after itself basically. You know, if, if you wanted to say to change your mind and make this a first level item, you can simply um, press decrease ident and it becomes a first level item. And you see how the numbering is maintained. If you decide now that you um, want to start a new list, um, usually, if you press return twice, it um, takes you out of it. But if you say maybe a time when you have one list, you want to have a second list, and you want this to start again at one, just click on the number, right click, and select restart at one. And it'll take it to one and start a completely new list. So if I press return, you can see I've got um, another top level item there. Um, now, if you want to change the look of this, you'll see that. Um, Basically, the style that everywhere you see the style that this is in is list paragraph. Right click here, you can see it highlighted there. It's in the list paragraph style. This is the style, the default style that um, Microsoft automatically puts its list into. So, if you want to change, say, the, the, the look of this, you right click and you can modify. Um, and here we can change, we say change the font down to 10, make it a bit smaller. We decide. Press OK, you see that the font's gone down. I don't really want it small, I'll take it up again. The one thing that you, know, you don't change um, within the, the style is, the, the in, is these tab markers. So if we click in here, you see these tab markers here. If you want to change the look and the indenting and the, the positioning of your, your list, you right click in the list and you do adjust list indents. And we'll take this now. I'm going to take this to one. Now just to make sure you can see it, I'm going to take this to two. And you'll see what happens. You'll see that this tab has gone to one, and this has gone to two. And this tab controls where the number is, and this tab controls where the text starts. So we can go here. If we do the same here, we do um, increase, or is it um, adjust list indents. And I'll take this now to three, and I'll take that to four. And we'll say OK. And you'll notice it affects everything in the current list. It doesn't affect any new list. It's only the list that you're working in. So that way you've got complete flexibility. Just to finish this off, I'll click in here and I'll right click and I'll go to adjust level indents and I'll make this go. What should we say? I'll do it 4.5 and 5. And there we are. So you've got complete flexibility about how you lay your lists out by using the two things of the list paragraph and the right clicking and um, doing the adjust list indents. I think that covers all the basics on lists. Um, 
just just for completeness, um, if we highlight all this and remove all the formatting, it is just as easy if you've typed out all your text but haven't bothered to set up your lists to you know click in the the highlight um, all your items in your list. Let's just highlight up to here. That's our our basic list. So just do that again. We can highlight our list. We can um, click in the icon for the multi-level list. Choose our current list. I don't know why it does that. That's that's strange, isn't it? I think it's something to do because we've played around with because we've played around with the indents. Um, so it's best then to, to reset by clicking on a not the one that was used previously. It's never usually happened because you wouldn't play around with all the indents and then sort of start a new list. But there's a little thing there to watch for. You can then um, highlight your various paragraphs and just click on them to these are third level. And you know, quickly, if you wish, do it as a second item, you know, as a, a secondary operation. Sorry, I went too far though. We are, I'm just trying to give you the idea here that you know that you don't have to do it as you go. You can do it um, at any time, basically. Um, there we are. I think we've formatted um, that back as a standard list. That's one thing to watch out for, though, is that um, if you have played around with the indents, um, it seemed when we first went there, you know, now this is the current list now, so we've lost the, the, the bad list we had. So it's always probably best, if you have been playing around, to refresh by clicking here refresh your current list before you start to um, mod you know, to do anything create a list where you've done the text but you want to format it as a second operation because when you play around with all those um, settings on the indent it does seem to confuse the list uh, from its normal normal starting point um, I think that's about it so I hope that's given you uh, a good insight into how to format and lay out and you know play with um, numbered lists. There's just one aspect I didn't cover, so I'm just popping back. Is if you don't like, you know, you've got to see this um, AA with a bracket. If you don't, if you you can you can very easily change that by clicking here in this this icon and then saying, right, I'd rather have you know um, capital letters or I'd rather have you know lowercase without the brackets. You just choose what you want, and basically it it, it you know, reassigns that all the way through your list. I think you can also, if you want, you can actually use bullet points as well, if you wish. Um, you know, and you can select your bullet points. So you, you've got complete flexibility over the look of your list. Let's just click in there and make that sort of, you know, with square bullet points. So you've got complete flexibility on the look of your list. Um, you don't, you're not just by simply using these tabs to edit the look and feel. Just one small thing that I overlooked to mention.